<laughs> Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. It is time to end this Romulan nonsense before I move on to the Cardassians. Yes, I'm doing two arcs instead of one. The Klingons really do need to play catch up. Klingon intelligence has completed its analysis of the data you recovered in the Nopada system. The Iconians are using the Tal Shiar as a way to influence the Romulan Star Empire. Their persecution of the Remans is directly related to this. They will hound the Remans until they are broken, or until they are too suspicious and beaten to ever trust an ally again. This is a coward's way to wage war. Are they too afraid to face us directly? We will stop these machinations now. Then we will see if these demons are brave enough to show their faces. The data you recovered indicates that Hakif is operating out of the Brea system. Long-range sensor scans suggest that there may be a major Tal Shiar installation there. We want you to infiltrate this system, apprehend Hakif, and destroy the Tal Shiar base. Hakiv must not escape. He may be the only person who knows how extensive the Iconian influence in Romulan space is. Time to unleash the cat escort against the Romulans. And then move on, I need to get more ships. We have arrived in the Brea system. Preliminary scans show automated defenses and a handful of Romulan ships, most likely Tal Shiar vessels. If we're going to reach that planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. The weapons platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit, or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. The Zedenia is prepared to assist you in the attack when you are ready. Enemy vessel, you are in Romulan space. Leave immediately, or you will be destroyed. <laughs> that's what you think. Long-range sensors show that Tal Shiar reinforcements are closing on this location. We must be swift. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to find Hakiv and his Iconian connections. I'll meet you on the surface. The last thing I wanted is to lose all my traits, and this mission is notorious for that. We have a problem. The Tal Shiar are trying to jam transporters. And particle leakage from the strange technology here is affecting our targeting sensors. 
My scientists can't identify the type of particles yet, but several of my troops are reporting in from different locations. Transporters are being diverted. You're on your own for the moment. My scans show that the Tal Shiar have secured some areas of this base with force fields. You'll have to disable them or find ways around them. Hakiv will be somewhere well defended, but we have him cornered now. <laughs> it's always fun turning my enemies into my allies.
simple enough. Also, this cutscene really needs to be remade. None of this matters. We just need to open the gate, bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was Taurus's plan, too. And you saw how that ended for her. We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No! We can still finish! You! You're the cause of all of this! You don't even understand what you've walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lonely being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent. And that any future will depend on a place in their regime. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it. Mm, not really. Call as many reinforcements as I need. Not now. My ship has put an interference field around this plaza. It's over. You think you've stopped me? The Iconians already know. They know everything. <laughs> They'll be here soon. And nothing you've done will make a difference. It's not. Over. It's over for you. And that's not justice? <laughs> yeah, right. That is justice. Talshar would either break him out, or he'd find some way to escape. The only justice he needs to get is, well, let's look at his crimes. Yeah, death is pretty much the only punishment he deserved. The road to Riemann independence will be long and bloody, but this is a significant step. While I do not seek your approval of my methods, the crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect, and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend you finish what you came to do and leave quickly. Time to blow up an Iconian gateway. Because who doesn't love a little bit of obibital bombardment? Flagship. I'm trying to hold her off, but the Zedenia is no match for a ship of that class. You'd better return to your vessel quickly.
Romulan people. This insurrection will not stand. Your hostile actions against the Romulan colony world are at the war. Surrender now, and you and your crews will be treated fairly as prisoners. I doubt that. We have our work cut out for us. I will assist you. After all, we face a common foe. Sensors are reading a gate opening. There's a ship coming through. Can't get a sensor lock on it. They're taking the Leoval in tow. They're heading back through the gate. The Klingon Defense Force will continue the search for Sila's vessel. But as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sila's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. And we have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when they are wounded. They suffered a grievous wound today. We are not done with them yet. I fear the return of the Iconians could change everything. The Klingon Defense Force will continue the su- Hakiv had a working Iconian gateway? Finally, the pieces of the puzzle start to fall into place. We know that the Iconians survived the destruction of their homeworld. Now we know that they are active in Romulan space, and apparently using these gladiatorial combats as a way to test the species of the Alpha Quadrant. Klingon intelligence will analyze the data you recovered from Hakiv's command center. I must confer with Chancellor Jimpok. We have fought one ancient enemy and one. If the Iconians seek conflict with the Empire, we will destroy them as well. I agree. The Iconians are a cause for concern. Their motives are still unknown to us, 
as are their plans for the Quadrant. What we do know is that they desire chaos. Many of the problems we currently face can be directly traced back to their machinations. If they had not antagonized the Undine, would we be at war with the Federation today? They push us into battles that drain our resources. They fracture the powers of the Quadrant so that no one will be able to stand against them when they finally arrive. They must be stopped! I do not fear these demons of air and darkness. Let them come. The Empire will defeat them. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.